What it do, Big Blue fans, G Nation, what up? Happy Tuesday. I just left the dispensary. I am on my way for doing more errands. Um, just want to hop on here and give a little update on what's going on, all things New York football Giants-wise. Um, no, as of now, James Bradbury has not been signed on any team. He has still remained to be unsigned. He is still a free agent. And I will continue to update you guys on his whereabouts, on where he will sign, only if he signs with a division rival or my least favorite AFC team, the New York goddamn Jets. Um, until then, there's really no news on what he's going to do. Um, I haven't really heard any further reports. Jesus, Wawa Gas is at 473. My God. Ugh, this is terrible times in this country. Anyway, uh, guys, yesterday uh, it looks like the New York Giants have started team organized activities, best known as OTAs. Um, before it was rookie mini camp um, and then non voluntary camp. Now, since the draft has come and gone, it looks like the rookies are now getting into the mix with the vets. Um, they had a video the other day of Kayvon Thibodeau coming out to practice, running next side alongside Saquon Barkley. And my God, is Kayvon a huge, huge man. Um, I was going to say boy, but he is not a boy. He is a man, even though he is young. He is a man amongst men. And he is huge. 6'4", 258, if I'm not mistaken. He's making Saquon look like a little midget next to him running to practice. Boy, am I glad we signed and drafted him. Um, and basically, Team OTA is just trying to get the vets and the rookies gelling together, coming along together nicely, um, having the vets you know, take a tour with the rookies, show them where the good pizza spots are, Show them what neighborhoods to avoid. Um, show them where to get chicken, nice little chicken parmesan action. Um, that's about it. Uh, it's just, you know, getting familiarized with the facility, taking a tour, being a tourist. I know a couple of Giants players, along with Brian Dable, went to see the Rangers game seven against the Penguins. And that's what I love to see, you know. Kayvon Thibodeau was also announced at Madison Square Garden, along with Brian Dable. Um, it's just great to know that these guys are being acclimated into the city, into their new home, New York City lifestyle. Um, you know, getting a feel for what it's like come playoff time as a New York sports franchise. When the when the things are rolling and your team is winning in the playoffs, these fans are one of the best in the country. And uh, no further proof than Game 7 uh, Sunday night against the uh, Penguins. Rangers winning in overtime to advance to the semifinals. Um, so all these Giants rookies got great, great action, and they know what New York is all about. Um, but that's really all I have to break on that. Um, in other news, there's apparently a lawsuit going on with the new with some stupid fans saying the Jets and the Giants should remove New York from their team name and switch to New Jersey since they play in New Jersey. Um, I don't know how many times this has happened in the past. There is no way in hell this lawsuit will be finalized. There is no way in hell the Giants or the Jets will remove the NY from their team name. And if that does happen, I would be furious. We are not in New Jersey. No longer. We do play in New Jersey, but that's because where the hell are you going to put a football stadium in Manhattan? There's nowhere to fit. I'm not going to upstate New York. I'm not going to fucking Staten Island. I'm not going to anywhere else. I'm not going to the Bronx. There's no place to put a fucking stadium in Manhattan. So that's why they play in East Rutherford, New Jersey, which is only seven miles away from New York City. And apparently there's a law. So you have to have at least 75 miles between you and the state that you play in to be called that state's team. And they have passed that by 60 something miles. So whoever's making that lawsuit, you're an idiot. I hope you fail. I hope you waste all your money and time in court trying to get this thing processed because it will never happen. So give up, you're a loser, and stop doing this stupid shit. Um, that's really all I have to say about that. Training camp's coming fast, guys. It's almost the end of May. 
June will be here before we know it. And then preseason will start in the blink of an eye. Um, just hoping no one gets hurt. Everything goes according to plan. And I just want to see some improvement from this goddamn team. And I want to see some wins starting as soon as possible. Anyway, guys, I won't keep you much longer. Enjoy the rest of your week. And as always, let's go G-Men.